Hi everybody, I'm Jesse, and I'm so excited for you to join me today for this really fun Arctic cold science project. So for today's project, we're gonna pretend that we're Arctic animals and I'm gonna show you how they survive out in the cold weather. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take our big bowl and we're gonna fill it up with some ice cold water. Next, I'm gonna add some ice into it. You guys can add as much ice as you like, all depends on how cold you want your water to be. Next, we're gonna take the shortening. So shortening is actually a baking ingredient used to add flavoring and fat to baking projects. But what it also is, is a really good representation of the fat that is underneath the fur and skin of Arctic animals. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take the shortening and we're gonna cover a portion of our Ziploc bag in the shortening to represent that fat layer. I wanna make sure that my hand in the bag is completely covered as much as possible. Next, I'm gonna insert it into the bowl of ice water. All right, gonna keep my hand in there for a couple seconds. So first thing, see how the water isn't being absorbed into that shortening? It's just like that fat layer. When the water, the ice water hits their fur and stuff, it is repelled off by the oils in the fat. When I put my hand in, that shortening creates a nice layer of protection and my hand isn't even cold. I know that there's cold water there because I can see it, but my hand's not cold at all. So just like the polar bears and the penguins that live in the really cold Arctic environment, their inside temperature is protected by that fat layer. You can keep adding to it and keep putting your hand in. See how cold you can make the water before you can start feeling it. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I hope it helped you learn a little bit more about how the Arctic animals survive. Until next time guys, bye.